Hello and welcome back to Factorio Pi Block. I'm not quite sure what to do today. I have been looking through the researches which are available and we have these ones. So there's seven, ten. There are ten researches available. I've looked through all of them. None of them give me anything I want. Uh, they all, all needed to do something else, but none of them give me anything I want. What I would like to do is become somewhat more self-sufficient for copper. Uh, so at the moment I'm relying on a copper mine way off the map. So I would like to um, replace that with some homegrown copper sources. Now I, I, it's purely at this point to progress the game. Um, but also, uh, it takes quite a long time to walk up, grab all the copper, walk all the way back. And th there, there's method to my madness. So, um, before I can really get to the point where we, uh, how shall I put it, um, have something resembling a bus, I need to unlock logistics. But look... So logistics requires one, two, three of the techs which are open to us. And then a further one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen prerequisites to get to it. So we have 17 researches to go before we get to logistics. That means 17 researches which we have to do uh, box fed or hand fed. Uh, with no other way to move things around, and yeah, I, I think that's a little bit ridiculous. We're not going to get to rail until we get to the second technology, and that is an additional, what, 10, 15 techs, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 9, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Yeah, so we've got 16 techs before we've unlocked, um, so we've got 16 of the tier 2 techs before we've unlocked rail. So we are going to have to put together a logistics bus, belt bus, to uh, get that far, uh, which we will then obviously tear down and replace with a city block solution. Um, waterways are a little bit closer actually, um, but the Waterways with um, stations, ports, uh, that's, um, yeah, that's a little way into Tech 2. Um, and these boats here, I don't think they have very much cargo. Yeah, I'm pretty sure these boats have a very small amount of cargo, if they have cargo at all. They may just be personal boats. Um, so we're, we're not going to have a functioning logistics solution for a while. Now I understand, yeah, so there's, um, okay, so there's a caravan thing. So this is interesting. Um, so it takes, Vrork cocoons. Apparently Vrorks are, are animals we use in Pi. Um, so this... I think you get creatures which walk around the map carrying things on their back. Um, yeah, so this looks like a bit like transport drones but with um, animals. So this is down here, but you can see this is nearly, this is nearly as costly, if not more costly, than um, than getting belts. But I think if we get belts, we move a long way down this path anyway. So maybe my strategy is going to be to, um, I'm just thinking aloud here. I'm wondering if what my strategy should be is to head for belts, get enough spaghetti together to get the base running, and then, and only then, to beeline for zoology. And then when I have zoology, 
have a mixed pattern of moving things by caravan and by a bus. So maybe that's the way forward. Um, normally in complex mods, I use transport drones, but I had a look at when transport drones would be available in this mod pack and it was not yet. Oh, um, I should note, I've uh, added in one more um, mushroom maker. Um, so we're, yeah, we're up to a full set of mushroom makers. Uh, I've got a bit of an issue with balancing the two lanes of the belts at the moment. Um, so I'm just playing around with how many inserters I need on here to guarantee that both sides of the belt move. Uh, the issue is these take from the near side, so the far side backs up. Um, so I, it's, it's a little frustrating. Um, yeah, basically everything's pulling from this near side of the belt all the way through the process. Uh, so the belt is not being balanced very well. Um, but I, I, maybe I should put this lane split one further down. Uh, but I don't think... I think all of these actually is too much for one belt. Let's have a quick look. Uh, this is stuff I should have done off screen. So... This would be 144 mushroom makers and it's 0.6 of a belt, which is too much. Whereas this is 0.448 of a belt. Let's just double check that. That's 0.597, sorry. So it's nearly 0.6 of a belt. So I have to do the lane switch here. Um, so there should be less than half a belt here, but the problem is, uh, it's a very uneven draw from the belts. Uh, so, anyway, I think we've also got issues... Um, yeah, we run out of mushrooms before the end, and this is because this belt is not saturated. Um, so maybe, I don't know, maybe the solution is to have more arms here. And if I pull off more early, then there'll be this belt will run dry, so it'll be pulling from the far side more. Um, oh, I also have to put this one inserter here, just uh, filling in gaps in this. Uh, it was the only way to guarantee uh, that this belt drained. Right, so I've done tons of talking, and I've not actually done anything. So let's get doing stuff. We are going to run through a bunch of tech, and we are going to try to get to logistics. Um, where was logistics? There. So I'm going to start queuing up text, and we are going to probably time lapse. Um, I'm literally going to queue them up. So that's that's it. Uh, that one. That one. That one. That one. Um, all right, and that's a full research queue. So I will see you again. Um, after some time when we have something else to do. In the meantime, I'm going to be babysitting the factory and probably thinking about how I can make it grow. But you can see now we have a much better iron situation than we did have. Uh, let's just double check. Yeah, that's backed up. This, as always, is waiting on something. What's it waiting on this time? It doesn't have stone bricks. Um, we have a cubic ton of stone bricks, so I don't know what it's complaining about. Okay, anyway, so I'll be back. Um, we will have unlocked a bunch of tech, and as and when we get to a tech which is interesting, uh, we will have a go at building something. And back, so I've done a couple of things. I expanded out the number of labs we have because um, we were making it far faster than we could actually use it. And now, of course, that I'm showing you, uh, we can't. <laughs> Let's put the speed back to one. What's this actually working, waiting for? Planter boxes. Yeah, it's always planter boxes. Um, I don't know why planter boxes is always the thing. Um, let's grab one of those. I think we've maybe um, 
inserter limited. Uh, that's all wrong, isn't it? All right, so add a second inserter. Maybe that will help. Um, anyway, so yes, we are making science. We are researching science. We are going through the science. But we have unlocked some things. So I thought I would go through it. We've unlocked lamps. Um, and in a, a fit of extravagance, I put some down around my base in random places. Um, so I'm, I'm in two minds. Maybe comments in the... Maybe notes in the comments, should I be beautifying my base or not? I don't know. Um, we've done a bit more lane balancing with the mushrooms and from what I can tell, we are now mushroom saturated. So we're processing everything as fast as we can. Um, or this isn't happening. So what's wrong with this? It doesn't have any coal because it is backed up on coal tar. Okay, so uh, I'm afraid we are just going to void that. Um, yeah, sorry people, um, <clears throat> we will uh, no doubt need to use all this stuff very soon, but right now I just need the factory to run, so I'm, I'm voiding and deleting stuff that isn't usable. Um, right, back to the tech, so I put down some lights, let's put down some more lights because lights are cool, uh, only part of the base is actually electrified, so only part of the base can even have lights. Um, but there we are. Um, and we're doing okay for power currently. Yes, we are. Good. Um, what else have we unlocked? So we have balloon lights, but they require a circuit. We're nowhere near circuits. And we have these short balloon lights, which again require circuits. So that's a bust. Um, in the pie coal processing, we have a thing called a washer. And we can make muddy sludge. So we're already making some muddy sludge uh, by processing soil into stone and sand. But now we can make muddy sludge on demand. So I guess we use that to top up a muddy sludge supply for things that require it. From memory, we need muddy sludge for um, moss production, which is something we will need to set up again soon. All right. Pi alien life, we now have a bunch of things we didn't have before. So we have the sap extractor. Um, and I've no idea what we need any of this for. I don't know what we need a sap extractor for, presumably to make sap, but I don't know what we need sap for. We have a fish farm, which presumably we use to grow fish. Um, then we have fish, which is grown from fish eggs in saline water. Okay, so saline water is something we unlocked before. And fish eggs. Okay, so I don't know quite where we bootstrap this up from. Maybe I use fish which we get out the ocean. Yeah, I've got some fish from the ocean. So uh, we can just drop some ocean fish into this loop to get it going, I guess. Then we have sap. We collected some sap when we were chopping down trees. And we have sap seeds. So there's going to be some virtuous loop in a botanic nursery to make sap sap seeds. Uh, then we have the sap tree. Okay, so that's sounding pretty much the same as for trees. Um, but I don't think we currently have any recipes which consume sap. Apologies, I was just answering the door. We have, um, we're in the process of eBaying off all the toys the kids have uh, aged out of. So that was somebody coming to collect a fire truck. Anyway, all done. Um, right, so where was I? I was looking through all this stuff and being mystified by it. So we could set up fish, we could set up sap tree production, and then we have something here, pyroar ores, tin ore. Okay, so we can make tin ore from fish, apparently. Uh, so we smelt fish into tin ore because that makes total sense. Um, I've got nothing I can use tin for currently. I don't think I have any recipes which consume tin, but it's nice to know that does exist. So it looks like we're gonna have a fish tin or loop, a bit like the mushroom farming to make tin. Um, I'm tempted to actually math that out. So let's make sure our research is researching. Okay, so what is this? It's always the planter boxes. And what's this? It's got no wood. Okay, 
Um, and this isn't running because it has no moss. Okay, so I disabled our moss farm um, a couple of episodes back because we didn't need it at the time, and now we obviously do. So let's start thinking. I, I'm fairly certain that a single moss farm will be able to keep the single um, tree place running for now. So uh, that's what we're going to set up. So... This moss farm, there we go. And this is going to make moss from stone, muddy sludge, and carbon dioxide. We may end up needing to move things around. Right, this needs some moss put in it to make it work, which we have in boxes. Okay. There. And then I think for now we can put the extra moss in that box just to get trees going again. Um, and at that, this point I can take all of those, put them there. Good. Alright, so let's think about how to set this up in a more sensible way. It needs power. Good. Stone, muddy sludge, and carbon dioxide. So, stone is something we are drowning in currently. Um, so at some point we're going to need a stone pus. I think I'm just going to move these up for now. And we will hand feed in some stone. Uh, I'm not sure how sensible that is, but it will do the job. Um, let's do this the long reach cheap way. Um, For those of you who don't appreciate this sort of thing, never mind. This is not the playthrough for you, probably. Uh, Alright, let's go. Then that goes in. Okay, then it needs um, muddy sludge. Okay, this was a poor choice of where to hand feed the stone. Um, hmm. Maybe it was a really poor choice. Yeah, let's do it like that. Um, all right, then the, the muddy sludge, I think we can just bring in, can't we? Because we've, we've got some of it down here. So let's... Um, okay, yes, here. So I think we can just tap into that pipe for Muddy Sludge. Um, do we need more pipe? Yep. Okay, so that will do the job there. That's the Muddy Sludge. What's the next thing we need? We need Carbon Dioxide. And how was Carbon Dioxide made? See if I can remember. Um, it was made from coke, wasn't it? Ah, good, we've unlocked another recipe. So lime from coke and limestone. All right. Um, so this was a recipe. Where is the recipe? Here. So coke in a high pressure furnace produces carbon dioxide. So again, I think we can probably, oh, we've got some concrete, that's nice as well. Yeah, I, we've got coke over here, so I think we can probably take off some extra coke from down here, put it in a furnace. Um, yeah, so this goes into a high pressure furnace. And where can we actually fit this in? Hmm. Okay, let's move this.
Leave it over by one. Okay, then I think we can put a high pressure furnace down here. Yeah, I may as well go all the way along just to make it a bit neater. Okay, so these are the high pressure furnace things. All right, and the recipe here, we've got more recipes, that's pretty cool. Okay, so this is... I'm trying to find where I can fit an electric pole in. Nowhere, apparently. All right, move it sideways one, see if that helps. Good. Okay, and then I can bring the gases out. Um, this is turning into real spaghetti. Um, all right, I'm going to bring a pipe down because that's probably going to be easier to route through. I've got to find out where I'm rooting it though. That would work. All right. Um, right, just plain pipe I'm out of. There we go. It can be a little bit frustrating how Factorio will use up all your simple pipe uh, to craft underground pipe. Whoops, don't mean to be there, I mean to be there. Good. So then we need some simple pipe there. there. Okay, I think I can stop crafting underground. I think we have enough of those now. So what does this need? No, I think that is everything, isn't it? Let's double check. Yeah, so that's the carbon dioxide. Um, okay. And I can take those, put them in there. We still haven't got quite all of the trees. Okay, and this is running, there we are. That should be the last one, I guess. We've got plenty of seaweed. We are now making moss. I think this will back up in a minute. And then we've got our tree loop back. Okay, this is the problem with taking apart things you've put together you end up with stuff not working again. All right, so let's find out what's wrong with this. No stone bricks. Yeah, science does a periodically stall and this isn't happening because we turned this off. Okay, so this just needs to be a single stack of stone. Okay, and I'm going to Cap these to a single stack of soil. There we go. All right, so I'm now doing mate work again. Um, let's just double check. So we haven't done any extra researches in the last few minutes, have we? Oh, we have. Yes, we've got these two concretes, sorry. Um, so I'll be back again when we've done something else another tech unlocked, so let's have a look. We have fluid mining drill, Mark 1. Okay, so I'm not quite sure what this does. It mines fluids, perhaps? Um, yep, I'm, oh, maybe this is like a pump jack. Okay, so maybe not entirely useful for us right now. And then we have Aluminium plate, which we can make from aluminium ore, although I'm not quite sure where we get aluminium ore from. Then we have tin plate from, so 
grade one tin plate, 15 of them, tin ore, 40 of them, five tin ore, grade one, grade two, I'm not really sure what's going on here, and set another tin process. So we have all these tin processes and we have tinned cable. Okay. So, and we have tin ore from fish. So I'm guessing there's some process where we go from tin ore to all these things, ultimately to tin plate and then to tin cable. So tin from fish, because reasons. Um, so let's have a look at what we would need to make fish then. So the fish farm. We need a seaweed crop facility, which means some bricks. Um, let's just put some fuel in there. Okay, there's some bricks. Um, glass. Okay, we have some glass here. I'm not sure if we have enough. Yes, we do. That's it. All right, so let's make one of those. Um, and then we can restock on steel because it's saying we, we run out. Good. And steel is being made so that will get replenished. Um, our science keeps lagging basically because uh, it keeps running out of soil. Uh, and then we ran out of other things. So this is now, yeah, it doesn't have planter boxes. This says it has planter boxes. Ah, some soil ended up in the planter box output. Okay, that was foolish. So this should all start running again now. Uh, right, so where's our fish farm? That's pretty cool. Um, let's make some land. Good. And the fish farm goes down. Okay, so we can do two things with it. Fish eggs or fish. All right. And so it looks like we're going to need a second one of these. One for the fish and one for the fish eggs. And it's got a nice blinking animal signal. That's a, a nice touch. Uh, all right, is all the research running? Yes, it is. That's good. So I guess we somehow turn fish into fish eggs and fish eggs into fish um, and end up with a net positive. I'm just going to put this down now and uh, then we'll actually do the design work next time. So today is just really about unlocking as many of these techs as possible, moving towards belts. All right. So if this was fish and this was fish eggs. Okay, so these have fluids. So they take in saline water and they put out waste water. So I would need to make saline water, and I think we had a recipe for that involving sand, <clears throat> stone being turned into sand. So we'll have a look at that. Um, so the fish recipe takes eggs and lamps, produces fish. This takes fish, produces eggs. And then we have another recipe which takes fish and produces tin ore. And this happens in an atomizer. Um, so let's craft one of those because they're, I just want to get all the parts list here. Okay, so this is tin from fish. <clears throat> So this is our plan. We are going to, presumably I can stick fish in as modules. Yeah, let's do that. All right. And is this fish as modules as well? Yes. There we go. All right, so these are going to be at their speed. So this would produce nothing. 18 per minute. This consumes four. Okay, so one of these runs many of these. And then this would eat 30 fish. 
this produces four. So four and 30 is two and 15, one and 7.5. Okay, so we're going to have quite a few fish farms for one of these. So I guess 15 fish farms for two tin plate makers. That's probably a ridiculous quantity of tin at this stage of the game. But, uh, you know, may as well think about building big or going home. Um, it's probably an unreasonable resource cost. So maybe I should just hook this up and then <clears throat> do the infrastructure for the saline water. Let's just look at the saline water. Okay, so saline water is made from gravel in a washer. Um, and the washer takes gravel. Gravel is made by a jaw crusher. And the jaw crusher to make gravel is going to take stone. Okay, so that looks like here. Um, sorry, I sort of disconnected these because I needed to put lots of soil in the research pots. There we go. All right, so maybe we can take a crusher to crush some stone. Neat Factory Jesus is crying at the moment. Okay, so. We have a washer that is going to make saline water. It's gonna make saline water from gravel. And it takes in water. Okay, uh, we're going to need some pipes. Good. So that's all joined up. Uh, where are we? That's a jaw crusher. Good. And power clearly needs needed. Uh, power there. And then I guess we'll just sling some cables across the map until they join up. Uh, so this is going to make gravel. Okay. And the gravel goes in here with water. Ah, oh, we haven't supplied this with water yet. Um, do we have a supply of water lying around? No, we don't. So I think we'll... Should I take it from here? No, I think we just use another offshore pump. This has sort of become my thing. We just put down offshore pumps everywhere. Um, so this now has the water. It's waiting on the gravel. The gravel is because we don't have the stone. The stone is because it's going to land... Well, it's being turn into bricks, but that's kind of redundant now. Okay, and I can take this, I guess. And where before we were trashing our stone into landfill, we can trash some of it into gravel. Brilliant, okay, so this now has nothing because we haven't yet done a craft. Good, we've done a craft. So this has some saline water. This has some saline water and needs a fish. Whoops. <clears throat> did I fail to put the fish in correctly? What did I? Yeah, I did. There we are. So this has a fish. It will get saline water in a moment. And then that will give us fish eggs. Fish eggs requires lamps. 
how do we make lamps? This is going to be one of those horrific builds, isn't it? Okay, so lamp. Lamp with a puh. Okay. No, not a light either. Let's have one last. There it is. Lamp. Okay. <coughs> Lamps are made in a burner assembling machine at Mark II. Can't be made in a Mark I assembler. Okay. So, let's have a look. Is this for real? So, Automation Mark II gives us the Burner Assembler Mark II. Let's just double check, I'm not going mad here. Lamps can only be automated in a Burner Assembler Mark II. And Burner Assembler Mark II can't be made until we're into our second science pack. So I've just been trying to automate something that I can't automate. What I can do is handcraft some lamps and put them in just to prove this process works. Uh, then we would have an inserter that way, an inserter that way, and an inserter that way. We will have a box. And we will have some fuel. Okay, this will do tin, but I'm handcrafting. All right, this wastewater... Doesn't seem like there's anything we can do with wastewater currently. Uh, so the um, sensible thing to do is to shove it in the ground and pretend it doesn't exist um, because regulations. Okay, so this is crafting. Let's speed this up for the sake of your experience and mine. So we are crafting fish eggs from fish. We have crafted fish eggs from fish, which means we are now crafting fish. Who would have thought it? We're crafting fish very slowly. Each craft of a fish produces 4.8 fish, apparently. I think the point eight of the fish is going to be unhappy, but uh, them's the brakes. Um, even faster, I just want to see this thing work. <clears throat> this is a ridiculously slow craft time, isn't it? Okay, so we're down to fish. We have crafted some fish. That is amazing. Okay, so some of the fish have gone back in here, some of the fish have gone in here, and it's not enough fish to make a tin ore. But the will is there. So what I'm gonna do is take these and see if we can... No, that doesn't actually get us over. Okay. Well, there goes that plan. I'm going to dump all of these in here uh, just to keep the cycle going. I'm going to turn off out mode for a second though, because look at this. These these are absolutely beautiful. In base game I have out mode on all the time because I like to see what's going on and you don't miss anything. The pie graphics are stunning. Um, big kudos to the graphics team. Alright, so to recap, what have we done today? We have um, set up research so it is more automated than it used to be, although we keep running out of these damn boxes. Um, we have re-automated wood. Snigger, snigger. Uh, because we um, had de-automated it. We've run a bunch of pipes to keep the fluids flowing. Uh, we have set up fish to produce uh, tin. Uh, and we've discovered that we can't automate lamps until about 200 hours from now. Uh, and I think that's where I'm going to call the episode.
Um, thanks very much for watching. Please like, subscribe, tell your friends. I will see you again very, very soon. Bye-bye.